now is one of the top legal eagles of the country. In fact, a member of parliament from the Congress party and also uh, someone who represented Mr. Gandhi, uh, both in the High Court as well as, of course, in the Supreme Court. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Singhvi. Big relief for your client and your leader, Mr. Rahul Gandhi from the Supreme Court, staying his conviction today. Do you believe this now paves the way for his uh, membership of parliament to be reinstated? Do you believe the speaker has any elbow room to take his own sweet time while deciding this case? Or does this now become ipso facto after today's uh, judgment? I don't see any scope for using words like pave the way and has to take time. Uh, there is a judgment of conviction which led to a disqualification. The entire total and only basis of disqualification is admittedly that judgment. That has been stayed. The conviction has been stayed as required by law. The consequence necessarily has to go. A, uh, when, the, when, the, when the foundation is gone, how can the uh, imarat, how can the building stand? And secondly, uh, if you took all of 24 hours to evict me earlier, please take 48 hours and at least reinstate me. There is a grace in democracy. There is a, uh, a certain give and take in democracy. It is not a question of personal vendetta. Here is a man who has been reinstated by the court. Why should you delay? What kind of complex legal opinion do you require for making this decision? No, but so what... The moment the order is there, a certified copy of the order is supplied, which I'm sure will be done tonight or tomorrow. There is absolutely not a moment's uh, delay required to hold him back. But, but what gives you... The consequential benefits of being a member of parliament. What gives you, uh, Dr. Singhvi, what gives you hope that this decision by the Speaker to reinstate Mr. Gandhi as MP will happen before next week, before the debate on the no-confidence motion will begin next week in the Lok Sabha, uh, in a way that it uh, gives Mr. Gandhi a chance to speak during the course of that debate. Uh, the precedent at least seems to be that the Speaker took at least a couple of months uh, in the last case uh, to decide on the revocation of disqualification. This question you have to address to the Honorable Speaker. This question you have to address to those who manage this. To my mind, it can be done tonight, it can be done tomorrow, it can be done on Sunday. Certainly, it can be done on Monday. It is nothing but consequential. Whether you will do it, whether you are more actuated by politics than by principle, whether you are more actuated by malafides than by reason, that is something which I can't answer. But I see no reason to withhold this for any time at all. And finally, today the court also uh, sort of in its judgment chided uh, Mr. Gandhi saying that people in high public offices should not be using such unsavory language. So I want your comments on that. It also criticized the lower court for giving the maximum sentence possible in a defamation case that of two years. Uh, both of those issues, your comments on that and then I'll wrap up after that. Well, as far as the second is concerned, let me comment on that first. The court actually heard me on 12 or 14 odd points, mm -hmm. which I itemized. One of them was the fact that had the sentence been one year, 11 months, 29 days, had the sentence been 1.5 years, had the sentence been a moment less than two years, there'd be no disqualification. Now, when you straight away impose the maximum, repeat, maximum sentence in a defamation case, which is two years, and by the way, uh, we know hardly any case where a maximum sentence has been imposed in defamation. Yeah. I don't think there's even one. But as you may do it, the sentencing, which is distinct from the conviction, requires you to hear separately on that and more importantly to give reasons. Why should I jump to uh, punish you with the maximum sentence for really a first-time conviction? There could be possibly, yes, reasons for it, but you have to give those reasons, to spell them out. Mm -hmm. Especially when that sentence leads to an eight-year disqualification, possibly. That has not been done anyway by the court. And that is what the court commented upon. As far as the other uh, question is concerned, yeah. let me tell you that it all depends on your nazaria, on the way you look at the glass, half full, one quarter full, nine tenths, empty, whatever. Now, it is possible, as I said, that when I see an elephant, I see the whole elephant. I see his entire body. I see his trunk. I see the tail also. I don't necessarily focus on the last hair of that tail. Same with the horse. It is possible that you see only the tail and that to the hair on the tail only. Well, the main matter today was the elephant, the horse, the body, including the tail. We have won that completely. 
All right, uh, Dr. Singh, we will leave it to that. Uh, many congratulations for the reprieve that your client has managed and for your arguments in court, which the Supreme Court has uh, bought and uh, thereby it's given relief to your uh, leader.